Hi, my name is Mark and I'm going to show you how squeal out disc brake treatment gets rid of a brake squeal on disc brakes. This one's got a bad. So there's our squeal, infamous. There's no shortage of these. What I'm going to do is put on a small amount of squeal out disc brake paste to the rotor. Doesn't take much, just a little bit. You just dab it on the rotor. Sometimes you might have to add a little water to the paste if it's dried up at all. Doesn't take a whole lot. You're going to do both sides of the rotor. go. Now I'm going to push the bike, dragging the brakes as hard as I can without the wheel skidding, to grind it in between the pads and the rotor. And I'm going to apply the brakes on and off as I push it at first to get it on the pad surface. Now that I've done that, push on the seat. much is all it takes to make that squeal go away. I'm going to ride the bike and demonstrate that the squeal is gone now. Hitting the brakes hard, no squeal. is gone. Now you notice that we lost some braking power too. Lose up to about 50 to 80 percent of your braking power right after you apply the squeal out paste. So you have to clean it off after using it. What we recommend is to clean it with isopropyl alcohol. This doesn't take too long. So what we're going to do is remove the rear wheel And we're going to spray the hub with isopropyl alcohol. You can buy this in the grocery store. We're going to saturate it pretty good to try to get all the remnants and residue of the squeal out paste off. A little brush can help get the chunks out from in between the rotor gills. Take a rag, wipe all that residue off, like so. Get it nice and clean. Then we're going to take the isopropyl alcohol and we're going to squirt it up inside the caliper in between the brake pads. Saturate it pretty good. Take a rag, run it through the pads. get that residue off. And throw the wheel back on. Now that all that's cleaned off, what I would do with this bike is I would ride it in the parking lot, safe level environment where you don't have any obstacles. You still have a functioning front brake with all the power. And I'll drag the brakes for about five minutes sometimes before I'll get most all that braking power back. You want to make sure that you get all your braking power back before you ride the bike aggressively. That's all there is to it. 